And tonight we're getting reaction to the president's move from right here in West Michigan. The city of Grand Rapids is hoping the messaging surrounding the census doesn't discourage immigrant families from filling it out altogether. They say there's already low participation in some communities. 24 Hour News 8's Whitney Burney joins us with how local leaders are trying to combat an inaccurate count. Well, the Granville Avenue corridor is one of the places where the city plans to focus some of those efforts. They say that their main goals here are to ease anxiety and to educate the families. Neighborhoods like this one near Granville Avenue stand to lose the most following the next census. This after the Trump administration pushed to add a citizenship question to the form. Leaders in the Latin community say it's raised a lot of concerns, many fearing their address and citizenship status will be used against them, something the city says could mean even fewer people will participate this upcoming year. And the city won't get proper funding to support services. It could also affect representation in Congress. The city formed a complete count committee at the end of last year to combat it. They say livelihoods depend on it. The census is it's only once every 10 years, so we don't get many chances to get it right. And it determines the strength of our community's uh, political voice, uh, both in Lansing and Washington, D.C. So when you add another layer of information gathering that to very vulnerable populations, that's going to cause the concern that we have now. Bo Torres with the Hispanic Center says they're working with the city to get information out about the importance of the census, but understand why people are afraid. They say adding the question was a bad idea from the beginning, and they're relieved it will not be on the census and affect the resources the community has access to. We can't let fear win, and we have to keep progressing and we have to keep using our voice. around Grand Rapids to door knock as soon as they have census brochures and information printed. They said they want to make sure that everyone understands that their census information cannot and will not be shared with other agencies. Live here from the southwest side, Whitney Burney, 24-hour news 8. All right, Whitney, thank you for that.